Hey guys and welcome back. I hope you're all well. So as promised, I said I was going to share with you my Halloween and autumn home decor tour. So I just have a few decorations here in the kitchen and also in the living room. I've never actually decorated properly for Halloween and autumn, but this year I was really in the mood to. I love the festive spirit of it all. So I thought I'd share with you some things that I picked up. And also you may have seen a couple of things that I shared in my autumn um, clean with me video so I'll link that down below if you want to go and check that out as well. Okay first off starting with the coffee bar area this is the main sort of section in the kitchen that I decided to really go to town with the Halloween decorations. Starting off with this section here I just swapped out a few of my normal coffee bar pieces and essentials for some Halloween decor. So this candle, this is a lead light black glittery candlestick from Home Bargains. Then we have these glittery orange spiders that I picked up last year when I did my Halloween bar cart that I'll link down below. And I can't actually remember where they're from, but I'm sure I would have said about them in that video. So I will find that out and pop where they're from in the information bar below. Then we have this ceramic ghost from Poundland. And most of the ideas actually that I got are from Pinterest. I just love looking through pictures of other people's decor to be really inspired. So I'll link my Pinterest down below with my Halloween and also autumn Pinterest boards so you can have a look as well if you need any ideas. So I got this idea um, off of Pinterest to put some little chocolates in one of these ceramic dishes. So in here, these chocolate balls are from Lidl. Then the bat, I believe, came in a pack from Tesco. Over here, we have my favorite mug ever. This is my first Halloween mug that I've ever purchased, and I absolutely adore it. This I featured in my last autumn video. This is from HomeSense and they had the most fantastic autumn and Halloween home decor. They haven't got as much now because they've moved on to Christmas already, but I'm still in autumn and Halloween mode. But you probably will be able to still find these kinds of things. This is by Ray Dunn, which I believe is very popular in America. And I think this was only five pounds and it's a really good size. Then these straws in here, they actually had little pictures on them, but I took them off. They're from Poundland, as well as the Halloween fairy lights are also from Poundland. And this skeleton glittery guy here, he was from Poundland last year. But generally, I find Poundland do bring a lot of the same sort of home decor pieces back year after year, so you'll probably be able to find quite a lot of the things I featured. I know these Halloween lights I got a couple of years ago and I know they still do these. I also do want to find a sign for here, but I'm gonna wait now until maybe HomeSense have a sale on all their Halloween items just to see if I can get something a bit cheaper for next year. But overall, I'm quite happy with how this turned out. So these um, pumpkin mason jars, one is from Wilco, and I cannot remember where the other one is from. They were from a few years ago. I wanna say the range actually, but I'll find out and link it down below. Then I have this gorgeous yummy donut that I am eager to munch away on, and this is from Lidl. I also quickly wanted to mention I picked up this witch's broom. I don't know if you can see it. It's quite long, and I've just got it down here. This was 150 from Tesco. 
I was going to do um, a sort of outside autumn decor display, but I haven't found that many exciting pumpkins last year, uh, this year. Tesco's last year did really nice white pumpkins and things, but they've just got orange ones this year, so I decided just to put the broom just down here. Moving on to another one of my favourite items I picked up this year. These dish towels are from HomeSense again. They were £5 for the two and they have these really pretty little cat pumpkins on them and then this one says cat o lanterns on but I'm just using these for display here. I just really like how they look. Moving on to this side of the kitchen, on top of the microwave I just have some paper plates and also some Halloween napkins and pumpkin paper cake cases. The paper plates I believe are from Tesco, I think I got them, or maybe Asda, and then also from Asda are the pumpkin paper cake cases because I'm hoping to do some fun baking. Then the napkins are from Sainsbury's. Over here this trick or treat bucket is from Poundland. You can get these absolutely everywhere in all different colours. Then inside I have some of my favourite sweets ever which are marshmallows and these are the Halloween ones from Lidl. Then up here is the skull mason jar where I just popped some straws in. These ones were from Poundland last year. They actually had paper skulls on them but I decided to take them off so they fitted into this mason jar better and then I got these orange ones from Wilco then the skull jar was actually from Wilco a few years ago last but not least over this side I managed to find a mini mum plant I got this from my local garden centre it was only 250 but I really like the white one to sort of break up the orange in the kitchen. Then I purchased this new Halloween lantern, I guess it is. You just basically burn the wax melt in the top and then it's got a tea light in the bottom. And this was under £2 from Home Bargains. Then the Spice Pumpkin Candle was from Poundland last year. Then I also have some beautiful roses here. The white ones my mother-in-law bought me when we came back off holiday. And then the orange ones I just added in are from Lidl. Then in this corner here, I managed to pick up this really cool sign from Home Bargains. Then in the biscuit jar, we just have some chocolate and orange mini saurine loaves. These were Halloween themed ones from Lidl. But Ben and I have been munching on a lot of them throughout the week, so there's not that many left of them. But I think they're 99p for five at the moment. Lastly, this glass skull bottle is from Wilco a couple of years ago. And instead of filling this with drink, I decided to top it up with orange Smarties that I picked up from Poundland. There is four tubes in here, but I reckon another two would have filled it right up to the top. But I thought we don't need any more orange Smarties, so four will do, and I think it looks quite effective against everything else. In the living room, as I mentioned before, I just have a few autumnal pieces, but I do want to get some more things for next year. I just haven't found the right kind of things this year. So hopefully there'll be some even better autumnal home decor. And actually, if you're wanting some inspiration, I did do a come shop with me um, showcasing lots of autumn home decor and Halloween decor as well from lots of different shops so I'll pop that down below if you want to go and check that out. So on our TV unit I just have 
by the way actually it is the next day that's why I have a different jumper on but anyway on the TV unit I just have these three pumpkins that I did a DIY video on a few years back so these are actually from Poundland and I just painted them in these really pretty colours some of them actually need a little bit of a touch up but they've lasted really well and then inside I just have some of these lead lights up on this ladder shelf is a couple of felt leaf decorations these I got from Wilco in the Christmas section and then this glass lantern is from next and I thought this looked really pretty as it does look like a pumpkin so in here I just have some lead fairy lights which I'll turn on so you can see and the lights just give it that really warm autumnal feel to it and I love putting this on in the evenings when it's dark outside and you can just see the fairy lights sparkle through the glass. Down here this stool is actually a new piece to the lounge. I'm unsure if I'm going to keep it right here but I do like it because it matches with the other furniture. This was from Homebase and it was £10 but it was in the sale for £8 and they do this with white legs as well. And on top of the store I just thought I'd put a couple of real pumpkins. So these are both from Lidl and in my opinion Lidl actually had the best selection of pumpkins. So these are the small one, there's actually another one over on the coffee table. These are just from the squash selection with all like the butternut squashes and things and these were on offer I think for 87p but I just thought this one had really nice colouring in it and then the large one I want to say was under £2 but I really like the shape of this one and also I have a couple of mum plants outside which I got before we went on holiday so I've got this really nice pinky one and then there's another one over on the other side that has more orange brown tones which I'll show you in a minute. On the patio door handles I just have this wreath that I actually made a few years ago. This was in the same DIY video as the pumpkins and I was going to stick it on the front door but I decided not to decorate in the end so I just thought I would pop that there but I really love this wreath. I was really happy with it when I initially made it. Then this beautiful orange fleece throw was from Matterland a couple of autumns ago but if you have seen my come shop with me, they are doing these again just with sort of slightly different patterns and they also have a mustard coloured one as well, but this was only £5. I really wanted to get as well a autumn coloured cushion with the orange rusty colours running through it for this chair just to replace it for this season but like I said before I didn't really find anything that I liked enough to buy it. I know Dun & Mill I filmed a few clips in there of their gorgeous cushions but I do find them a little bit expensive just for sort of one season so I'll keep a look out maybe I'll find something in a couple of weeks if not I'll wait till next year. On the main part of the coffee table is this small Bath and Body Wax candle. This is the autumn one, but I just thought this looked really pretty with this leaf. Unfortunately, someone did ask me actually where they sold Bath and Body Wax, I think in the UK, but unfortunately they don't. I just pick them up when I go to the US or we do have some very kind friends who bring us some of the candles back when they come home. But if you are on the lookout for some really great autumn candles, then Home Scents have the best selection of candles and they're probably a little bit cheaper than the Bath and Body Wax ones. Here on the tray, as I mentioned in the kitchen, I just separated out and split up the roses between the kitchen vase and this one. Then this is another one of these really sweet pumpkins from Lidl. They're actually squashes, but I really like the 
veins of the lighter orange running through them so these are real so they won't be in here for a good long time obviously I'll have to throw them out when they do start to go off but I just thought they look pretty then this is another Bath and Body Works candle this is the vanilla pumpkin marshmallow which smells amazing but I don't really want to burn these little ones because I can't get hold of them all the time I feel like I want to treasure them and they do look really nice as decor pieces then these are some felt pumpkin coasters that I picked up from Laura Ashley and actually after I filmed my come shop with me I went into Laura Ashley on a whim I don't know why something was telling me to go in that shop and I found all this beautiful autumn home decor lots of pumpkin things and cute little pumpkin ceramic pieces and there was also leaf shaped um, felt coasters and mats and things like that and everything had 30% off. Then finally under here is just a few leaves. These are fabric leaves that I think I picked up from the range in a pack. I just wanted to quickly show you as well I was messing around with the grey pom-pom rug in my clean with me video and I wasn't sure how I was going to put it. I really like it when they just drape it over the sofa but for some reason I can't seem to do that so I just folded it up like this but eventually I think I would probably get another autumnal throw for here or maybe some more sort of orange rusty coloured cushions for along the sofa but as you can see you can just see everything as a whole in this area and that is it guys I really hope you enjoyed this definitely let me know in the comments down below if you want me to do a Christmas home decor tour I did do one last year so I'll link that down below and have a wonderful rest of the week or weekend or whatever you're doing and I will look forward to seeing you in my next video. Take care, bye!